I try to reach you, but that's nothing new. I can't, I know, cause you turn around when I wanna kiss. Hello guys, thanks so much for watching. So today's video is a little bit of a normal style clean with me and a little bit of like a nesting style clean with me because I've been putting off, like putting out the baby stuff and moving things around and out of the way to make room for baby stuff for a long time. And I know I still have a ways to go, but I don't know, I just feel like I want to do it and it makes me feel better and more prepared and all of that. So I started finally doing that today. You guys are gonna see tons of different things that I'm working on around the house and just getting ready and prepared along with the everyday stuff. So I hope that you enjoy this. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. Please hit the like button if you like it. Please subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. I haven't done like a talk through intro in a while, so I miss doing it. I miss just like talking to you guys. So let me know if you like this style or if you like when I jump straight into the video and start with the voiceover. So yeah, thanks for watching and let's get started. I'm going to be focusing on several different things in different areas of the house throughout this video but I wanted to start out in my bedroom because I decided to set up the changing station or to at least start setting it up there definitely are like several things I need to get and a few things to like reorganize and contain things but I just wanted to at least get started setting up the changing station that's going to be in our bedroom while the baby is sleeping in there or at least in the very very beginning and his room is only right across the hall so I might end up just having it in there when he doesn't wake up a lot throughout the night but for now, I want it to be in our bedroom on the smaller size dresser on the other wall that you guys will see in just a second. And I know, again, it probably is a little bit early to be setting up these things, but I just started the third trimester. His room isn't done yet. It should be done relatively soon. We have a few more things that we have to do on the walls. One more thing I'm waiting for that should be here in about a week. So things are happening, but it just makes me feel better to at least have a few smaller things done and ready to go. Most of you guys are probably like me when you put together furniture. I don't read the manuals. I will skim through the directions. And with all of this baby stuff, I feel like I should be reading the manuals and like every step of all the directions to make sure it's set up right for safety, of course. And for the bags inside of the diaper genie, I had to watch like three videos on YouTube. I couldn't figure out how to do it. It was very confusing. So I'm sure that's funny to all of you who have kids already, but the struggle is real with some of these products. When everything is on, we light a candle. We're breathing really slow with artists. We're waiting for the dawn with empty bottles. You turn around when I want to kiss. I try to reach you, but that's nothing new. I can't, I know, cause you turn around when I want to kiss. November, but you turn around when I want to talk. Oh, when you need me, time has changed. Maybe I'm the one. 
And now I'm going to take everything out of the top drawer of the smaller dresser and that's all my bras and underwear so I can put the baby stuff in there. I'm going to move all that stuff into the other room where I have an Ikea pack system and so at this point the only thing I have in our room that's mine is some pajamas and workout stuff that's it so that likely will go in the other room in an upcoming video I guess we will see how I do a space and if there's room for it and before I put any of that stuff in there I'm going to wipe it out it was very dusty and that's something I never think about is pulling the drawers out of a dresser and wiping it down but honestly it was super dusty so I think that's yet another thing I need to add onto the list of just like random things I need to do every once in a while And once I have everything I need in this drawer, I'm going to buy a few organizers on Amazon so I can really section it off, split everything up, and keep it really, really organized. But first, I want to make sure I have all the products. That way, I know what sizes to get for everything. So this is just a start. It will look a little bit different once I'm done. I'm sure I will share that with you guys. Of course, probably fill it up with you and reorganize it with you. But it makes me feel so much better at least getting started. And in these spray bottle I've been using is the honeysuckle scent it's a concentrate from Mrs. Myers so it's part of the concentrate the rest is water and while I was filming this actually a box arrived from Grove Collaborative that is the website I get almost all of my household products at and they always have really good deals and offers incentives I really really like them I always link them below so I think in my next video I'm going to test out a lot of those products throughout a house cleaning video for the first time and share like my first impression in the voiceover if that's something that all of you would be interested in let me know in the comments below I haven't even opened it yet And now I am on to the kitchen. And the next thing I wanted to do in here is remove all of these wine glasses from the top shelf. I don't even think we've used any of these wine glasses since we moved in a few years ago. So it's so pointless to have them at an arm's reach, or at least they are for chat. I cannot reach them <laughs> unless I'm on the counter like this. So all of this stuff is going to go in a cabinet somewhere else, which you guys will see in a few minutes. But first I want to get all of it out. I want to wipe down the shelves. I do a little Little bit of a vacuum on it like spot vacuuming with a handheld attachment and I am going to be rinsing these off in the dishwasher because they were really really dusty I'm doing this to make room for a few things for the baby some bottles and like accessories for the kitchen and dishes I don't even know if we will be using bottles but I at least want to have them out and ready to go And after this is vacuumed out, I'm going to add all of the travel mugs up here. Those are primarily for Chad. I rarely use those and because I cannot even reach the shelf, that's why I'm putting those up here because he can reach it. So I definitely recommend that you reorganize things that way if there's something that your husband uses all the time or your boyfriend or just someone who lives with you who's taller than you and you don't have those high up, have everything that is for you on the lower shelves and I'm going to keep out a few stemless wine glasses like I said and a few of the copper mugs because I love to make a mocktail every once in a while and I am going to go through the fridge too so you guys will see all of the ingredients that I like to use for that I'm keeping out these stemless wine glasses from our wedding we have like several boxes of those but I like having about four of them up here and a few more random things like that before I reorganize the coffee mugs and the water glasses I never ever felt this way Longing for you pick up the phone Catching the flight I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known Home, home Seeing you soon I got a run We're gonna have a lot of fun And spending this summer alone hey, I'm coming home I'm coming home 
I do store some things face down and some things face up. So all of the wine glasses on the very top shelf, I'm storing face down so they don't get really dusty like the other ones did. And then I'm doing the travel mugs right side up and I'm doing the coffee mugs right side up as well. I know some people like to store, the, store those face down, but they don't stack as well in the space that we have at least. And I just feel like a lot of them stack together so much better face up. So that's why I like to do it that way. Water glasses, I do face up. Sometimes when I put them away, they aren't fully dry. They're almost dry. And I want to make sure there isn't a puddle in there that's ruining the wood. So that's why I do those that way. We also had several espresso cups in here, at least six or seven, and we don't drink espresso that often. So I did leave a few of those out, but several of them I'm going to put away with the other wine glasses. And here is the space I was able to make for the baby stuff. I'm trying to buy small quantities of a few different brands so I can test them out and see what will work for us. I know different things work for different people, so that's why I don't have like a ton of one particular thing. But I have about six bottles so far, and then I have one of those faux, it's like a grass Thing for hand drying things I know those are really popular so I have that if I need it and if I need to make a little more space eventually I will but I feel like this is a pretty good start if you guys are into the pregnancy and mommy videos I do have a series on my channel where I share my experience of getting ready for our first baby setting things up and buying things how I've been feeling how everything's been going so that playlist is linked below along with the rest of my house cleaning videos so wish me good luck yeah, gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love because it's on. I do get questions about those shelves on the right, those wood shelves, and I was going to say that we made them, but all of you know, I didn't make them, it was Chad. He went to a wood store and found wood, I don't even know what to call it. I wish I knew all of the technical terms for this, but like a distressed edge, a live edge, that's what it's called, wood, and then they cut it to the size that we needed, and he bought all of these parts on Amazon to put them up. So I really like them. It's all of his, or not all of his, but a few of his books. He has so many books and a few random little things. There's a picture of him. There is a Le Creuset pot, um, a remote for the lights on the bottom of the cabinets. I tried really hard not to put anything pink and feminine up there. I wanted to make sure he had his spots of his things because those shelves were his idea and he really wanted them. So I do my best to keep them all of his things and nothing super feminine. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Oh, hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck Oh, yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Turn up the love Because it's on
that the dishwasher has been emptied, all of that stuff is where it needs to go. Here is everything that was on that top shelf that I'm going to put in the dishwasher on a rinse cycle to get all of that dust off that I keep talking about before I put it away in another space, which I didn't get to in this video, but all of you guys will see exactly where all of it is going right around the corner. This is something I've needed to do for a long time, and actually while I'm thinking about it, I really need to go through the entire kitchen, wipe down, reorganize all of the cabinets. That is definitely something I want to do in the next few months, so keep an eye out for that. If you guys are not seeing it on my channel, then please call me out because I know that's going to make me do it. Aching to be healed, just rain on me. You blow me into space. And in this cabinet is where all of those extra wine glasses are going to go and anything on the top shelf in that cabinet that we didn't actually need in there. I know it's kind of a random spot, but we don't have a credenza or a bar cart in the dining area. It's too small for that. So there is space on those shelves. That's why I'm going to have all that stuff go in there. I do start to put away a few things that didn't have to be washed that weren't really dusty. And then I moved a few things around so the Mama Roo was out and it's all fully put together and assembled the thing in the middle there is an infant insert and I'm leaving that in the package so it doesn't get all dusty but it's ready to go I don't know exactly where we will be using it however I think the living room is a pretty good guess like the rainbow fill me with your spark take me from the dark so shine on me And now for the refrigerator. It's been stressing me out that it's looked like this the last week or two. And whenever I know I'm going to completely redo something and reorganize it, I really, really let it go because I know it won't be like that for very long. I just get like extremely lazy before I do something like this. So that's why it looks as bad as it is. But I do feel like the refrigerator is one spot that we do keep fairly neat and organized for the most part. It really doesn't get this bad that often. And I'm going to... Oh, I wanted to show you guys those from Costco. It's like a brownie in a pot thing. They're really good. I had one last night. I definitely will be having another one today. But I'm going to pull everything out of here and wipe it down completely. I'm not doing a super duper deep clean where I'm like scrubbing everything in the sink. But I am wiping everything down and getting it back to where it should be. I know I'm nesting when watching myself clean is very satisfying. Normally I don't get like as excited as I am about this. I'm just so happy that the fridge is looking the way that it is right now. And I'm using the honeysuckle concentrate again with water in it to wipe everything down in here and reorganize. If you are new to my channel, there is a video on refrigerator organization. And I take you guys with the store to me, with the store, oh my gosh, I take you guys to the store with me when I buy everything. I like having containers that are very versatile. We always have completely different foods and I want to make sure that what I buy is very practical, 
practical. Oh my gosh, I really cannot get through this portion of the voiceover. And things that can be used for several different items. So that's definitely something I recommend you keep in mind. We also have a fridge downstairs, a full-sized fridge. So some things up here I put downstairs. And a few things I bring upstairs from the downstairs like sparkling waters. And you guys will see the rest in just a minute. Try to get over you, but I will never love again. Hey, we can build it all up again. We can dance in the summer rain. I know we can find it and keep it. We'll get back home again. Oh, I'm feeling the wind. There's a storm coming in. Stop me just a second, just a second away from all the pain. You told me if I leave, then no one gains. Hey, we can build it all up again. We can leave with the morning train. I could try to get over you, but I will never love again. Hey, we can build it all up again. We can dance in the summer rain. I know we can find it and keep it. We'll get back yeah. home again. Hey. Watching this back, I'm realizing we have a lot of condiments, but I've always been a sauce person. I love them. I love to try new ones, so there are a lot of those. And then while I do this, I always like to go through the labels, or not the labels, but the expiration dates on several things to make sure they aren't expired because they almost always find at least one or two things that are expired. And I did put an almond milk downstairs. We had three up here from a three pack from Costco. So we didn't need three up here. I have the grapes in there from Costco. It's like a huge thing of grapes. I went there for the cotton candy flavor. I shared this on my Instagram story and I didn't find them. I was so bummed. And you guys were telling me a million different places I can find cotton candy grapes. So thank you for that. I still haven't found them. I seriously feel like I've gone to all the places you guys are telling me. But it just happens when I'm there they don't have them here's everything I grabbed from the fridge downstairs put in this one pineapple juice a chocolate banana milk sparkling water I have fresh mint in the fridge for mocktails I always like to have a cucumber on hand for mocktails as well some cheeses for Chad iced coffee for Chad he does the keto diet a lot, so he really likes these. It's like salami and pepperoni with a piece of cheese in the middle. And all of that I'm going to add in here before I move on to the next part of the video. Gone away and gone for good. 
One of my favorite things to ask you guys for are food recommendations. And a few months ago, I asked you guys for ranch dressing recommendations. So I've had a huge list of them. Whenever we run out, I get another one from a different brand. And the Lighthouse one is what we have right now. I really, really like it. So if you need a ranch dressing as random as it is, check out the Lighthouse one if you haven't had it before. It's thicker. I just really like that about it. And now on to laundry, which if you have watched even one of my house cleaning videos, as before you know I struggle with this the motivation to do this is hard to find so when I find it I roll with it I keep going until I cannot do it anymore And yes, we are still doing the Kanmari method for folding. It does take a little longer for sure, but the drawers stay really organized. I used to redo our drawers all the time. They get really messy. And I don't even think I've had to since we've been doing this method. So that's why I stick with it. Anything I put on the back side of the couch has to be hung up. And sometimes I find things in here that shouldn't be washed at home that should go to a dry cleaners. That's always Chad. I swear he will throw like anything in there and I find them. Then I get worried that they're shrunk or ruined, but sometimes those things make it out okay. A lot of his clothes I like to take to a dry cleaners. I think they just turn out better and they don't shrink as much. He always complains that his things shrink even if I'm not washing them with heat. So. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like his stuff is actually a lot more temperamental than mine. And write in the comments what your laundry routine is. Do you have a specific day of the week? Do you watch a certain show while you do laundry? How often do you do it? I feel like I always ask you guys a question about it when I'm folding laundry, but I just really like to hear what everyone else's routine is because honestly, anything that will keep me from putting it off and putting it off and letting it turn into a big pile, I am all ears for. I love hearing your tips and recommendations. And believe it or not, I did get through this entire basket. I didn't think I was going to, but I only folded one with you guys because I had several loads of laundry to fold. And I know after a while it gets kind of boring, so I did want to do one with you. And as you can see, there was a little bit of everything in this laundry basket because there was a big pile downstairs for me to get to. And that completes this video, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Anything you want to tell me, write it in the comments. I love hearing from you. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Recent videos are below and more. And I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!